hermit good lives in that wood which slopes down to the sea. How loudly his sweet voice he hears, he laughs it all with marineers that come from a far country. He kneels at morn, at noon, at eve, he hath a cushion plump. It is the moss that holy hides the mottled old that is stump. The skipper but near, I heard them talk, why, why this is strange, I trow. Where are all this land? So many a bear that signals me but now. Strange when my faith I heard it said, and we answer not our cheer. The planets are warped and see those sails, how thin they are and sear. I never, I never saw, saw aught like to them, them, unless perchance it were. Brown skeletons of leaves that lie, the forest brook along. When the eye we tod is heavy with snow, and the owl that whoops to the wolf below, the leaky the she wolf's young. Dear Lord, it hath a fiendish look, the pilot made reply. I am a fear, push on, push on, to the hermit cheerily. The boat came closer, closer to the ship, and I was straight not stirred. The boat came close beneath the ship, and straight the sound was heard. Under the water it rumbled on, on so loud and more dread. It reached the ship, it split the blade, the ship went, went down, down like lead. Stunned by that loud and dangerous sound, sound, with sky and ocean smote, like one that hath been seven days down, down, my body lay afloat. But swift as dreams myself I found within the pilot's boat. Upon the well, well I sank the ship, the boat swung bound and round, and all was still, so that the hill was telling of the sound. I moved my lips, the, the pilot shrieked, and fell down in a fit. The holy hermit raised his eyes from place where he did sit. I the took the oars, the pilot's boy, who now doth crazy go. Laugh loud and long and all the while, his eyes went to and fro. Ha ha, quoth he, plain let see, the devil knows how to row. But now, and in my own country, I stood on the firm land. The hermit stepped step forth from my boat, and scarcely I could stand. Oh, so won't you speak, speak me, holy man? The hermit crossed his brow. Say quick, quick with thee, I bid thee say, what manner of man art thou? For with this frame of mine was rent from the woeful agony, which forced me to begin this tale, and then it left me free. Since then it hangs on certain hour that agony returns, until the haunting hours turn his heart within me burns. I pass from land to night. I pass like night to land to land, I have straight power of speech. But the moment that his face I see, I know the man that must hear me, to hear my tale I teach. What well, loud of roar burst from that door, the wedding guests are there. But in the garden, bow and bride, and the bridesmaids singing are. And hark, the little has the bell, and bringeth me to bear. O oh, wedding guest, the soul hath been alone in a wide, wide sea. So lonely that if God himself says, see meant there to be. Sweeter, sweeter than the marriage feast, feast was sweeter far to me To walk together to the kirk with goodly company To walk together to the kirk and all together pray While each to his great father bends old men and babes And loving friends and youths and maidens gay Farewell, farewell, to this I tell To thee, thou wedding guest He pairs well, who loveth well, but man a burden beast He pairs best, who loveth best, all things but great and small for the dear God who loveth us, he made and loveth all. The mariner whose eyes are bright, whose beard is aged to all, is gone. gone. Now, now the wedding, wedding guest turns from the bridegroom's door. He went, went like one that hath been stunned, and is in a sense forlorn. A sadder and a wiser man, he rose the morrow morn.